wrong way. So recently, wetlands have been viewed as a tool to treat wastewater. And in these systems, commonly referred to as assimilation wetlands, what we see is someone collects the wastewater from the community, and then the wastewater is then treated for solids and bacteria. After this, you're left with water that still has high levels of nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus. And in an, what's typically called an assimilation wetland, they'll release this water into a nearby wetland where those nutrients can be reduce by macrobiological <coughs> chemical reactions. And so uh, here, oh. here we can see uh, the wetland that received the highest level of influence from the wastewater. And conveniently enough, we have uh, this yellow line right here is a natural ridge system separating so that we have a reference wetland where we can look at what a wetland in that area would appear like if it wasn't receiving wastewater. And so these images look a little bit different, and we know that this is a cost-effective method for treating wastewater, but what I want to ask is, is this a sustainable method for wastewater treatment? And so what my project is showing so far is that this wetland is effective at reducing the nutrient levels. So by the end of the wetland, we're no longer seeing the elevated levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. And in the sites receiving the highest influence from wastewater, we see that uh, the adult trees have lowered growth as well as a lowered canopy. And the planted bald cypress seedlings, their survivorship is lower in these sites that are, have the highest influence of wastewater. And what we also see is that natural regeneration levels of bald cypress in both the treatment and our reference wetlands are relatively low. And the vegetation, the herbaceous vegetation, or the non-woody veg uh, plants lying low to the ground that we see in our treatment wetlands are different than what we would typically see in our reference wetlands. And so overall, further monitoring is needed to fully assess the sustainability but it's suspected that the high, the elevated flood levels associated with wastewater treatment may be affecting the sustainability of the Point of Shannon Swamp that the city of Thibodeau is using for wastewater treatment.